right Sochi. There is only there is only one way to enjoy this race. How's it going racing fans? Ready for a new preview and predictions video? As always, I'm Chip, bringing you all the talking points for the Russian Grand Prix, the 16th round of the F1 2018 Championship. Let's get cracking with this snacking. Okay, let's get one thing out of the way first. I really dislike the Sochi Autodrome. Like, really, really dislike it. <laughs> it, has, it has no elevation change. No fast sections, it features as many 90 degree corners as, you know, New York's grid street system. And the only trademark corner is a bit of a ripoff from Turkey. And it's shite. The 5.8 kilometers Sochi Autodrome layout has 19 uninteresting corners, which drivers will have to endure for 53 laps, accumulating to a racing distance, a total racing distance of 308 kilometers. Tire stress and lateral forces are both in the middle of the spectrum, which in theory should encourage some tire degradation. But no, because for some pissing reason, the track surface here features a very smooth asphalt, making racing here like driving on marshmallows. The only redeeming feature, if you can call it that, of this track is the downforce required, quite high due to the multitude of medium and slow corners. A good comparison can be made with Barcelona, apart from the ultra-smooth asphalt, obviously. Um, and, well, we all know how um, terribly, terribly exciting racing in Barcelona is. Oh, and least we forget, last year's Russian GP featured one overtake. One. Fantastic. Anyway, on the tires front, Pirelli nominated the soft, ultra-soft and hypers. Again, no super soft. Can the pinky pinky tire force a two-stop strategy? No. No is the answer. Just look at Singapore. Right, let's try and find some things to look forward to. Number one, Red Bull. Yeah, keep an eye on the balls this Sunday. Only not towards the front. Both Max and Daniel will take engine penalties this weekend, so they're bound to start the race towards the back of the grid. Which, you know, in theory, should give us some overtakes. Number two, Antonio Giovinazzi. Cheating a bit on this one as it doesn't have anything to do with the race, but it's worth mentioning. The Ferrari Academy Junior has been announced as Kimi's teammate at Sauber for next year. And it's all Ericsson's fault. On Friday, he will take part in the first free practice session. And it will be genuinely interesting to see how he compares to the regular drivers. Nonetheless, congratulations, Gio. Genuinely, genuinely pleased for him. Number three, Renault versus Haas. The main battle of the midfield. E yeah, I know. At some point during the season, we had no less than five teams battling for that best of the rest position. Now, it's just these two. But nevertheless, this duel should produce some great racing. If not on track, then perhaps in the strategic battle. Number four some under pressure drivers. The 2019 lineups are in the completion phase and there are still some drivers on this year's grid that must yet show they deserve to stay in Formula One. Magnussen, Grosjean, Hartley and least we forget Perez after his antics in Singapore. Will we see these guys racing in Formula One next year? Let me know, let me know in the comments down below who do you think will keep their seat? I'd say these are some drivers that should look to different categories to race in next year. And finally, number five, Sebastian Vettel. Yeah, you know this one was coming. Once again, Ferrari arrives here with the better car. More than that, historically Vettel performed great at Sochi. And frankly, after Singapore, this feels like a must win race for him. I know, the whole 40 points behind Hamilton story. but. Championships have turned in the past, in the latter stages. Hell, Kimi did it. Kimi did just that in 2007. For Sebastian, his first step is to turn up in Sochi with his A-game. Even though Lewis seems unbeatable at the moment. We shall see. Right, drinking game for this Sunday. It's one sip for every pit stop, two sips for every overtake, and three sips for every safety car slash retirement. Now for the predictions. Pole position goes to Sebastian Vettel. 
and I'll throw another one out there. It's a Ferrari front row lockout. Come the end of the race, from P10 to P5, Leclerc, Alonso, Magnussen, Sainz, Ricciardo, and Verstappen. And P4, Kimi Raikkonen, P3, Valtteri Bottas, P2, Lewis Hamilton, and the winner from pole position, Sebastian Vettel. Can he do it? Will Kimi help him now that he's off to Sauber for next year? Or will Hamilton ride the wave he's on at the moment and score another W? Please let me know in the comments. Also, any other thoughts on the Russian GP? Any questions? I'll be more than happy to try and answer them for you. Thanks so much for watching, racing fans. Drop a like if you think I've earned it. Share this video around on social media. And if you're new around here, why don't you subscribe for more Formula One content? It's 100% free. I've been Chip. You can find me on Twitter at chip underscore DGS and on facebook.com forward slash digital grandstand. Cheers.